with the yeah. Sierra Club, trying to save the Everglades. And I'm really supportive of Occupy Wall Street and the whole movement because we know that the environment's being destroyed by greed. And the people who are doing it are on Wall Street. They have no ethics, no, no concern about anything but money. They don't care how many species we're destroying right now. I mean, the things going on are terrible. I mean, right now the bison, the buffalo of Yellowstone National Park, the buffalo, the greatest herds, 20 million buffalo, we have about 2,000 left. If those buffalo migrate outside the boundaries of Yellowstone, and Yellowstone's a high altitude park, and during the winter they need to migrate to lower altitudes. If they leave the park, they are harassed by helicopters, they are harassed by men on horses, they are harassed by men uh, in these little, uh, you know, four-wheel drive SUV things or buggies. And many of the calves break their legs. It's so sad. They have killed over, in the last five years, over a thousand buffalo. There's only two thousand buffalo that have the genetic strain of the original buffalo. Only two thousand. They killed over, in the last five years, over a thousand buffalo. Now they're doing the same thing to the wolf. We have reestablished the wolf. The wolf helps benefit the environment. The wolf brings about the benefit of, in, of, of making the elk healthier. But, the, but Wall Street and the big ranchers and the big agribusiness, they don't want anything wild. Everything has to be a tame, domesticated animal. If it's wild, they want to kill it. So this is really, well, Occupy Wall Street is the first opportunity for the real people to tell us what they really we want to do with this country, and that's to, to protect the environment. Here in Florida, we want to protect the Everglades. The Everglades creates our drinking water, yet right now, Governor Scott and the developers, they want to do away with water protection. They want to do away with nutrient protection. It's all, they want to get rid of uh, environmental resource permitting. They just want everything to be easy. The developer asks for something, they just give it to them. It doesn't matter if it eliminates the wood stork or the snail kite or any of these species. So I really encourage all the members of the environmental movement that I meet to come out here and join this group because this is where we've got to bring democracy back to this country so people that care about the environment are in control, not Wall Street and the lobbyists. Thank you everyone for being here.